Welcome to Oman. We're starting a two week road trip here to explore some of the most beautiful sites in the Middle East. Our first stop, Muscat, Oman's capital and the city where Rishi lived for nearly a decade. Somewhere on the east floor of that building. This is where I spent eight years of my life, right in that house. Join us as we explore this underrated travel destination and Rishi's old stomping grounds. Welcome to Mutra. We got up early this morning and drove from our hotel in the heart of Muscat out to the old city known as Mutra in Muscat. And today we're gonna to be exploring the Mutra fish market. This building behind us actually is a new building here. It was completed in 2017 and it's now kind of the hub of all of fish sales in Muscat. The fishermen go out really early in the morning to catch their fish and then they come ashore around eight o'clock to start selling in this market. So we're gonna walk around today and get a feel for what fish sales look like in Matra. My name is Gibran. I am with the Rishi and Melissa. Melissa and like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Can you tell us what kind of fish you have over here? Natoli. Natoli? Natoli, yeah. Okay. An Arabic hunter. You know it, a sardine. This is Sultan Ibrahim. Oh, they're really pretty. So what dishes are these typically used in? Like what sort of food? For the fry. You can fry, fry it? Yeah. You can clean like that, see? Oh. And just see this. Interesting. If you don't want the head, you can keep it. Okay. You can do it something masala, then you can fry it. Our new friend just told us that there's actually a restaurant here that will fry any fish. You can buy the fish here and then take it over to the restaurant. They'll cook it for you and then you can eat it. And also, there was this guy selling kingfish who told us that if we bought the fish from his market, uh, we would be blessed with two kits. Lots of fun guys here. Well, stop number two for today is going to be Riyam Park. It's a park right in Matra and it has a beautiful hike. It's about an hour long hike that goes through some of the mountains here. So let's go take a look. Stairs. Rishi's favorite. Oh boy. She says, just go slow. Although it is the nicest weather in Oman that it can ever be. In January, it can still get to you. It's very dry. Apparently this is the trail marker. So if you see this along your way, you know you're on the right track. We made it to the viewpoint. <laughs> You know, it'll take your breath away, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll sit and enjoy this amazing view. Ooh. Dang, mountains are just like, the way that they're carved out is so, oh, beautiful. We just came over this little peak and now it's so quiet. You would never guess that we're right next to a huge major city. It's absolutely wild because I can hear nothing other than the wind. Let's go up to the little like uh, viewpoint. Why not? Heading back now, our next stop will be the Matra Souk. Matra Souk, locally called Al Dalam Souk, is located right off of Matra's Corniche. 
Albalaw means darkness and aptly describes the covered market. Before electric lights, shoppers would have to carry lamps with them to see. Okay, so we've been here like uh, 15 minutes and it's quite overwhelming. There's a lot of people approaching you and telling you to touch things and like giving you the little perfumes and rubbing them on your skin. But if you can kind of get past all of that, it's very cool. Like the silver store in front of us, we'll show you in a minute, is like really beautiful. And there's so many unique and interesting things that you can find here. We have these daggers. Small dagger. Looks like I could use this to like put butter on my toast. These are cool. So these are camel bone. Mm -hmm. But all of this stuff is then, actually, now that I'm looking at it more closely. A camel bone was used to make them out of sunlight. I was saying that these look really cool. After spending way too much money, we headed out for our next destination in Old Musket. It is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All the photos online I saw of this on Google made it look much smaller, more compact. We made it to Al Alam Palace, which is right behind me. If it gives you a little bit of a mid-century retro we feel that's because it was actually reconstructed in 1972. It was a ceremonial palace for uh, Sultan Qaboos who ruled up until early 2020. And unfortunately we can only show you the outside because the general public is not allowed in. And there's nobody here other than that guy. <laughs> After a full day exploring Musket, we called it an early night so we could catch the next day's sunrise and have enough time to visit our final site in Musket before starting our road trip. Uh, we just got here to the Sultan Qaboos Mosque here in Musket, Oman. And first things first, we gotta get an abaya. So we rented an abaya, it was 2.5 reals. They're really nice. They just put it on you and you walk in and can go see the mosque. We have just entered the premises of the mosque and it is beautiful. It is huge with all these wide open spaces. Mm -hmm. We're wearing sunglasses because it's really sunny today and the sun just like reflects off of the white surface and is almost blinding in some ways. But I think it just adds to the majesty of this whole place. It is absolutely beautiful. It's incredible. And we've heard the inside is even more stunning than the outside, so I'm very excited to go check that out. Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque opened in 2001, and when it opened, it had the largest single carpet in the whole world. Thanks to Abu Dhabi, no, it is the second largest, still very grand. It is amazing. I don't have words to describe how beautiful it is on the inside. There are tons of these just like crystal chandeliers, and then of course this massive one right above my head. I hear audible gasps every time someone walks through the door and sees it for the first time. And then the stained glass, like I almost didn't even notice the stained glass because there's so much to look at when you come inside. But it is just amazing to look at the amount of detail that goes into each of these pieces of art. Well, this is it for Sultan Kabul's mosque. And for Musket. While we were sad to be leaving such a beautiful city, we we're excited to get our road trip started and see what the rest of Oman has to offer. All right, time to get driving.